Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Although this is not the first time you've seen this location, I figured I'd give you some additional views, because who doesn't love this coastline? This is Priory Cove St. Anne, and the grounds you're seeing, where the Kanoko Market is kept, is also used for other popular events such as the Rebel Salute. And for those of you that don't know what Rebel Salute is, it's a concert held in celebration of reggae music. For those of you that are new to my channel, my channel is a story of my journey as a creative since moving back to Jamaica and also some of the stories that I've learned while networking with other local artisans and artists. So come meet some of the people that I've met. Aviola accessories. It's a long time when I see you. Long, 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 long time. I love that red piece beside her. I'm wondering if you can see it too. It's supposed to depict a forest on fire. What she's been doing is taking plaster of Paris and putting it on the canvas and then painting over the plaster of Paris to really get those lovely textures. Comment below if that's something you want to try or if you want a tutorial. Hey, mama. If you're into bold, colorful statement pieces, this collection might be for you. This is Adornable Accessories. Comment below if this is your style. Two talented designers collaborating right here. Say hi to the folks. Hello. Hey, hi. I'm just visiting my neighbor. Yes, <laughs> yes we do that. So these are mother of girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. These clips are just some of the behind the scenes of the setup. It's always great to capture these moments when I'm not the one setting up. Let's make a quick stop here at the tent of Jerome Taylor, an artist that I've come to really admire. I had to use the water effect because look how lifelike his sea painting is. If you're ever looking for ideas on how to do composition, his work is really great to study because he uses a lot of warmer tones, but he's able to really give you clear distinctions of each layer and each element in his pieces. But the cool thing too is how he positions each item in the painting. You can tell which one is the focus, even though everything is equally as bright and beautiful. There were a few more artists that were there at Kanoka Market, but I feel like when I attended back in October, there were a lot more. So feast your eyes on some of the crafts and jewelry and home goods. Let me know what you think in the comments. For those in my audience that are a bit more rootsy and are looking for some good natural pathic tonics, check this out. So far, I have much love on life. This is how my dear side really have some cannabis essential oil here, sir. Use it to help and cure cancer cells and so for the body. We have some love mix same way. Lemon grass, rosemary, and basil mint. We have neem essential oil. We have earth brown. We have root sonic. Uh, clean and cleanse the colon. Things are clean and cleanse the blood. And we have things that build up the immune system. Right. Like uh, this, for example, it's like extra from the calabash. We have to treat and prevent stroke. Calabash? Yeah, extra from the calabash fruit. I did not know you can make an extra from the calabash. Yeah. You did this, man. You're stuck in your phone too much, you know? Stuck in another one, I look away. You know, yeah, man, you can make extra from the calabash, but you don't add no water or anything to it. Right. Just straight from the fruit itself. So why is the calabash good? Why it do? Yeah. Consider miracle food in the Philippines. Based on the amount of stuff it do, have so much different health benefits. Calabash extra, you know. So we use it for treat and remove tumor and cancer cell of the body. As I'm tell you, help prevent strokes. It's rich in a vitamin B1, so it helps vitamin B1 mm. deficiency, okay. mm. stress relief, weight control. Have 0 0.25 alkaline, full of serotonin, melatonin, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal. You know. Relax the mind, the body have a lot of sedative qualities, stuff like that, you know. Full of a zinc, vitamin, um, like, um, calcium, iron, sodium, potassium, thiamine, vitamin B1, vitamin C, potassium, as I said before. Take the three times per week for health boost of your health and build up the immune system. So you have anything with K2? Because they were saying that K2 no. is also, um, the reason why people are starting to get more sick because they're deficient. Yeah. Um, you hear anything about that or you have any products? No, I've heard, of, I haven't heard about that really. But I know so when your body lack a certain nutrients, you start getting sick. So we try to put as much organic nutrients from the nature inside out. But if you build up your immune system, fight off any kind of disease, that may enter your nice system, you know? Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of disease out there in the world today. So feed from the plant, by the plant or the medicine. 
So how do you take these? And we take this like one ounce, like up to, we can take up to five ounce, but we take like one ounce, like three times per week. You know? So these things, do you just put it in your food? You put it in no, your tea? No, you don't put it in your food, no, your tea, you drink it like that. You use the medina so like to make tea. It is a tonic. Oh, wow. There was more to that conversation, but for the sake of the kids and more sensitive audiences, I will not upload the other part of the conversation. But let's say he has herbs on tonic for everything. They demand them. So for the ladies that love a good clutch, a bigger type clutch purse, these are for you. You have some really lovely prints and she also has earrings to go with your custom bag. And it's glistening because of the Irish moss. You just tried this one. It's called It's Peachy. Spin it around and see the loop off. Wicked youth. I saw people who have ingenuity. I wanted to feature the stall because I'm really interested in the sword and I wanted to know if anyone in the comments knows what type of sword this is. This is Zen Bowls. It's the only spot that I know of that makes acai bowls. They usually operate out of Montego Bay, but they're here at Konoko every time. Big up to Def Can Coffee. Let's take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this setup is. I absolutely love it. And these are just so wonderfully crafted. For anyone out there looking for a new and neat project, this is for you. Check them out. It's not ceramic. These are really lovely. Are they um ceramic? Are they ceramic? Oh no! Good old wood and cement. Ah. That's the main ingredient, component. Because of the smoothness of it, it looks ah, like it's ceramic. Yeah. It's in trade. But no, it's not ceramic. The face is armed. I love this one. She's beautiful. Oh, okay. She looks like Mother Earth. I like she's in Jamaican colors, but not in the traditional way. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love doing aerial shots, especially when the grass is so green and pretty. Now on to Mr. Fitzgerald. What I really appreciate about him is just the neatness of his wood carvings, especially these pieces that are framed right here, and how they just look so cute and dainty and would fit any household decor. He's the type to really show the pride that he has in his craft and really show out every time. The artist for the stall wasn't there today, but her husband was there representing her work. I really loved this gecko and some of her more intricate pieces because she does these designs on cups and she does sculpture and she does a lot of different things. A lot of her pieces have some cultural representation on it and it's just gorgeous. This is one of my favorite oil paintings from Bea. I love this pottery collection by Yaba Pottery. The artist is Sally Roper and she does a lot of these cool tones and pastel colors and they're just so eye-catching and beautiful. That's her in the black and white there. So anybody want to play dominoes? Um, just don't play with me because I'm not that good at it. I wanted us to take a moment to stop at this beautifully decorated stall of handmade pieces. I really like what this young lady is doing for the community, so just listen to what she has to say. I am Natsumi from Japan. I am the representative of non-profit organization Link of Jaja. So we connect Japan and Jamaica. And here right now we have the uh, weaving products. So this is our charity project to empower people living with disabilities in Jamaica. So look at Anthony. He, you know, uh, he's learning and he's he he's trying to master the skill. And actually, he made a beautiful poster. 
So I'm trying to provide them, you know, a little jobs and social participation opportunities. Here I'm once again featuring puzzles by SG. Really great and colorful puzzles that you can do as a fun family activity. I got one to do with my three-year-old. If you ever want ideas for home decor or setting up your stall, if you have a display you need to set up for some kind of convention or fair, maybe you can get some inspiration from a stall like this. I find it so interesting that she uses shells and sand, just some natural elements to bring out the natural beauty of her creations. Every time I visit these stalls, my ADHD acts up because then I feel like I want to make pillows and clothing and all sorts of things that I know I don't have the time for. I really like the unique cartoon style that the artist behind Martism has. He's very vocal about his autism and how it affects his art style. And of course, this stall is Peter Pert. I really enjoy looking at how his mind works. He's so creative, he can do paintings, he can do sculpture, he can do tile art. There's nothing he can't do. I believe he's even dabbled into a little bit of metalworking because he took a fork and he made some unique sculpture out of it, which was really interesting. You can really get a feel for his versatility here. So I've featured this ceramist before, the very experienced Claude Hoylet, and he's one of the reasons why I've become more interested in doing ceramics and pottery. Even if things don't go his way, he doesn't throw away the piece, he just makes something new out of it. So the artist behind Gem Rich does a variety of things, including jewelry and of course art. But what I appreciate about his art is that he uses a lot of cooler tones and a lot of boxy shapes, but everything still looks very organic. So I'll leave it up to you in the audience to tell me what you think about this art style and what does it make you think about, what does it make you feel. Uh, what kind of experience do you get when you look at these pieces and is it something that you feel you can relate to? Let me hear below in the comments. It's quite neat to watch paintings that have been done on mesh. Can you see that? The paintings are actually on mesh. That's pretty hard to do. I love her eclectic style. I have a bit of an eclectic style myself so I can really vibe with it. Oh, your face, right? You're at the last school course. Yes. yes. How are you doing? Good. Melting. This is Christopher Scott. I've featured him many times before, but I'm really enjoying seeing him evolve and really owning his craft. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and follow for more.